What's up, folks? I'm Chris, your MLB manager here at OccupyFantasy.com, here with a look at the six-game main slate here on FanDuel, DraftKings, and Yahoo. Pretty straightforward slate. Actually, see, I have some FanDuel ideas here already pulled up. See how they jive with our model. And no surprise, Pablo Lopez with the Miami Marlins is our top pitcher on the board tonight. He's facing the Arizona Diamondbacks, who are the worst hitting team in Major League Baseball right now, and they strike out at an above 25% rate per plate appearance. That's in the bottom five in all of Major League Baseball. Uh, you see we have him projected for 1.1 strikeouts per innings pitched. That's right in line with what he's averaged over the last year or so of his career. Drew Rasmussen with the Tampa Bay Rays facing the Oakland Athletics. Identical OF index at this early stage in the day to Pablo Lopez. These top two guys look like really strong options tonight. Rasmussen got six innings in in his last outing for Tampa Bay, so he is stretched out. I know we're always leery of Tampa Bay starters because they're a little more creative with their usage of their bullpen and, and how they give guys short outings, but Rasmussen, one of those guys that seems to be going a little longer of late for them, feels a lot safer, especially at this really nice... Uh, price discount from Pablo Lopez. So I feel like these two guys are probably your best options on DraftKings. And it's really, I think, a pick em between these two on FanDuel today. Rasmussen projecting for 1.19 strikeouts per innings pitch tonight. That 1.19 number is a little bit above what he's actually projected rest of season at places like Fangraphs. Um, and that's because Oakland actually strikes out at the highest rate in baseball right now over the last 30 days. So really good spot for Rasmussen here. I guess other ideas. He's an underdog against Miami facing, you know, the other side of that Pablo Lopez matchup, but Zach Gallon does project for the highest strikeouts per innings pitched in our model today at 1.24. Uh, so that's an interesting high risk option just 7600 on DraftKings, 9100 over on FanDuel. Um Who's getting beat up in the stack cast department? You know, we actually have recent batted ball data in here. One of the guys to be worried about potentially is Rasmussen. He's Rasmussen is giving up the hardest average batted ball exit velocity in our sample today of pitchers that are starting on the main slate. Uh, but the batted ball distance, a little lower, right in the middle of the pack. So that is something to watch. Jake Odorizzi here for the Houston Astros giving up the furthest batted ball distance on average. And Marco Gonzalez with the Seattle Mariners on the other side of the matchup giving the second furthest average batted ball distance. Why does that matter tonight? Well, if we hop over to our top stacks, the Houston Astros are here at the top by OF Index, uh, top by implied team toll tonight. And those Seattle Mariners are not too far behind them, actually have a pretty high weighted on base average ranking as a team. Uh, our third favorite stack on the main slate here, according to the projected lineups that we have early in the day. So it seems like there's interesting opportunity on both sides of the plate in that game. We also like the New York Yankees. Uh, you see they got pretty strong rankings here across the board and their team total actually already moving a decent amount in betting markets this morning. Uh, for their matchup here with the Toronto Blue Jays. Diving into some of the top hitters here a little further um, on the Houston side of things. This is our batter model here. Houston's facing Marco Gonzalez. Gonzalez gives up an elite ISO to hitters from both sides of the plate, but he's really poor against right-handed hitters. Giving up a 249 isolated slugging average to right-handed hitters over the last year of his outings. That's good news for the top four here in our model. Yuli Gurriel, Chaz McCormick, Alex Bregman, Jose Altuve, all right-handed hitters. Can never go wrong with guys like Alvarez and Tucker, but they are hitting from the left side of the plate, so the projection is a little lower than these right-handed bats tonight for us. Uh, on the Seattle Mariners, who are facing Jake Odorizzi from the Astros tonight, Odorizzi uh, gives up an elite ISO and WOBA to left-handed hitters. So your top options in the Mariner lineup tonight are going to be some of these lefties that you see uh, at the top. Jesse Winker, Jared Kalenic hitting from the left side of the plate. Suarez here at the top, not by much over Winker, but Suarez hits right-handed pitching very well, so that's why he still profiles very highly. And then everybody knows how hot Ty France has been, so he's going to be up here as well. Those are some of the top Mariner options. The Yankees, they're facing Ross Stripling, who has allowed an elite isolated slugging to hitters from either side of the plate. This is a very right-handed hitter, heavy lineup from the Yankees always. Uh, and the usual suspects rank at the top for us. Judge and Stanton, by far the best hitters against a right-handed pitching like uh, Ross Stripling. Joey Gallo also has a really strong 308 isolated slugging against right-handed pitching over the last year or so. Been struggling here at the beginning of the season. But Gallo looking like a really strong option early on here in the Yankees lineup. 
think it's pretty straightforward. You can use Lopez. You can use four bats from the Astros tonight here over on FanDuel. If you feel like 26.75 per player isn't enough, you can maybe consider going to Rasmussen here. Get a lot more to work with. Uh, you can play a high-risk pitcher like Gallon. Still have plenty to work with. A lot of options there over on FanDuel. On DraftKings, you know, look, you can just jam Lopez, Rasmussen, play an Astros stack, and have 33, 33 per player remaining. That's plenty of space. You can play potentially a cheaper stack like the Mariners tonight. I believe they're a little more affordable than the Astros and have a little bit more to work with. A lot of paths you can go down tonight on this moderately sized six-game slate on FanDuel, DraftKings, and Yahoo. If you want to keep an eye out for the daily plug at OccupyFantasy.com. That's where we'll post our final rankings for the slate once we have confirmed starting lineups. Uh, starting pitching is already confirmed. So all that stuff will be updated by about 5 p.m. Eastern, a little bit of an early lock tonight. If you want to talk about MLB DFS up until then, you can always consider joining our Discord. There's a link to do so below the video. And as always, we'll talk to you tomorrow for more MLB DFS.